sold y'all media. And a lot of y'all are not going to like me because I'm not really going to like uh, bullshit y'all. But pretty much in the video that I just posted, you can see what looks to be some type of, you know, extraterrestrial vehicle floating over the skies in North Hollywood, California. And it took me a, a long time to actually realize what that is. At first, I was caught up in the hype and everything. Of course, my conspiracy mind took over. But then after a while, I just thought to myself, like, they would never, they would never in their whole fucking scheme of things show us something that big without it being a hoax. So what you have to realize is that what you were seeing in that video is nothing more than a SpaceX program, which is nothing but a man-made, NASA-invested program that is they don't do nothing but focus on putting fuels inside of rockets to make them go up now why is this important because the type of fuel that this specific company uses spacex they've been doing this since the early 2000s okay they've been working on this one technology in order to get a type of rocket that looks like a fucking pencil into the sky. Why do they want to do that? Because it contains a certain satellite that can only be lifted up in the air by a liquid gas fuel. Okay? Now, what happens when this liquid gas fuel is released? You see, they've been experimenting with this for the last... Okay, let me get this straight. They've been experimenting with this for the last... 10 years, okay? 10 years. So, what happens when they release these liquid gases in the sky is that it literally absorbs and refracts light. This is an example of what they do when they do the, um, what we call chemtrails, okay? But imagine that for the chemtrails, but literally times 10, okay? Now, this is what's going on over the Hollywood skies almost all the time because there's a lot of space programs in fucking California and they're releasing a lot of gases in order to get off the ground all the fucking time. Now, this, is wasn't, this wasn't even the first time that SpaceX launched one of these things. So I know for a fact that this time they were successful with what they were trying to do. And what was that? They were trying to get a fucking satellite into outer space using liquid gas fuels okay this program is technically 18 years old because they were doing a lot of technological tweaks to it before they can even build it but what happened is they start, they were able to build it 10 years ago and they started trying to get it into space then. Yet, all this time when they've been experimenting with this ship, it has gone unknown to the news. You know why? Because SpaceX is, a, is the first private space program to enter outer space. What does this mean? NASA didn't have shit to do with this. And I want you to know this. This is the most important part of this video. NASA is not the only motherfuckers going into outer space. Countries are not the only people going into outer space. Companies, there's, companies are not the only things going into outer space. There's everyday civilians like you and I who actually figured out that these technologies are not just some big, bad government experiment. That all of us can use these things. Okay? And what do they do? They make their own companies based off of it. And these companies become so advanced that they, ex they excel what NASA was trying to do. Think about this. Okay? Now, the fact that these private civilians, okay, 
who were invested by NASA, they had their own program going. And what they're trying to do is send a satellite into outer space using liquid gas. Now, there's a whole nother list of private entities that I literally took the, the privilege of writing down. These are a list of other private space program that literally have no obligation to tell you what they are capable of or what they're doing or when they're going to launch their shit. You know why? Because they're not regulated, which is a good thing. International space program is one. The blue origin is one. Look up these space programs. Bigelow Aerospace. There's something called Space Devi. Now these are just a, that's just a short list of these programs. Now if you start off by looking out, looking up those four, you will see that the truth of this situation is first of all, there is no such thing as aliens or extraterrestrials. There is only the the advancement in technology in human technology. Let me get that straight. There's only the human advancement in technology interacting with the ignorance of the manipulated masses. Okay, let me say that again. There is no such thing as aliens or extraterrestrials or angels or demons even. Okay, there is only human advancement in technology interacting with the ignorance of the manipulated masses. Okay. So what does that mean? A prime example that we are behind in knowledge of the advancement in technology is that these people literally have a fucking Instagram and they've been launching this shit for fucking 10 years in the sky and yet this is the first fucking time motherfuckers know about it. These motherfucking private programs who come out to the public and they beg, they beg for the public's attention so that we can uh, stop praising these government entities and stop praising these idiots. These are civilians. I'm not saying they're white, black, Asian. I don't know what the fuck color they are. But what I want you to know is they aren't fucking with the government at first. But what happens is we shine them as evil, demon people. Or we just shine their technology. The shit they work their whole life for. We shun that. And what do they, they have no other choice but to run to the government for their investments at that point. And what happens, that's when things get become corrupt. Because we're so afraid of the advancement of human technology that we shun the people who create these things and force them to go to our enemy to get support. So, what is the overall grand theosis that you should take from this video. It is that, one, there is no such thing of, as aliens or extraterrestrials, and there never was. Simply put, to, to put that in a bed, you came out of the universe. You did not drop into it. So that means that everything in the universe is coming out of the universe, and that every the universe is home to everything. We're all on one even relative playing field in the whole universe, okay? So that means that there is no alien because we're all from this place. You see, your atmospheric illusion does not break you off from everything that's outside of it. You're actually one with that. So there's no such thing as aliens, okay? Secondly, the grand theosis to take for this and the most important part is that right now there are private space programs that have no obligation to tell you or the public what they are capable of or when they plan on releasing their technology. And there's nobody to stop them. Unless we work with them or we create our own technologies that are, such, that are as equally advanced, we are just going to sit right here and be stuck. And that's exactly what they want from us. They want us to be scared of this. They want us to be scared of technologies like this so that the people who are working on it for them can work on it in peace and not have to worry about 
competition on a mass scale. And with that being said, Soulja Media, 